Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing kinkajous. There's nothing alive today quite like a kinkajou. They have a round face and ears like a bear, stubby legs like a weasel, and a tail about as long as their body. In fact, kinkajous were originally believed to be related to lemurs because of their appearance and tree-living behavior. But today, they're classified in the same family as raccoons. These medium-sized mammals are also known as honey bears, which likely comes from their color and less from their dietary habits. Kinkajous are frugivores. Most of their diet is made up of fruit, and they eat all kinds of fruit from trees, shrubs, and vines growing in their tropical rainforest home. In some areas, they've also been observed eating leaves and flower nectar, which they lap up with their long tongue. During this process, the kinkajou's face gets covered in pollen, which could indicate these animals are pollinators. They've also been observed with ants in their stomach, suggesting they may also take an anteater-like approach to their meals when fruit is scarce. But fruit reigns supreme in the kinkajou's diet. Kinkajous are arboreal, meaning they spend nearly all of their time in the trees. They're also nocturnal and are almost never seen during the day outside of their den. These animals use tree holes for sleeping. Originally, they were believed to be solitary, but it's now known that kinkajous live in family groups with a single breeding female, one or two males, and some juveniles. When it comes to sleeping, they may snuggle up together, but when it comes to eating, they prefer alone time. A nocturnal tree-living lifestyle generally keeps kinkajous safe from predators, but they are taken by harpy eagles, cougars, jaguars, and humans. Humans are considered the greatest threats to kinkajous because they hunt these mammals for food, fur, and as pets, as well as destroy kinkajou habitats. Currently, the kinkajou is listed as least concern, but population information is difficult to obtain due to their cryptic nature and it's believed their numbers are decreasing. A kinkajou is around the size of a house cat, a very muscular, slim house cat. Their body is about two feet long, but they only weigh around six pounds. Their tail is thin and prehensile. They use it to balance their body while climbing through the trees, and are even known to use it while hanging upside down and holding on with their back feet. Like other members of their family, a kinkajou's back feet can turn 180 degrees to assist them while climbing. It takes about two years for a kinkajou to reach reproductive maturity, though males are ready slightly before females. There isn't a single breeding season for the species, though there are peak breeding times depending on where they live. Generally, these seem to coincide with peak fruiting times, so young are born when food is most abundant and females have access to the nutrients they need to care for themselves and produce milk for their young. Kinkajous typically give birth to a single baby after a 115-day gestation period. The baby remains with the mother for the next four months before reaching independence. Kinkajou dads don't really take part in raising their young, but they do maintain a relationship with them while the young are in their social group, and have been observed grooming and resting with their offspring. It's not known how long kinkajous live in the wild, but they're known to live 20 to 40 years in captivity. They produce a number of vocalizations, from hisses during aggressive encounters with non-familiar individuals, to chirps that sound like this. For more facts on kinkajous, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.